Tiger Wednesday is continuing at Fifth Third Ballpark this week, not only with a 1984 World Series champion, but with one of West Michigan's own. Grand Rapids native Dave Rosema returning home this week, albeit from his cottage just up north. Rosie, as he was best known, part of that great Tiger rookie class in 1977 and spent eight of his ten major league seasons in Detroit. He finished fourth in the Rookie of the Year voting in 1977. Of course, was part of the Tigers' last world championship team and is known as one of the all-time great characters in Tigers history. For many of us, would be near or at the top of the list of former Tigers you'd like to sit down and have a cold one with, talking a little Tiger baseball. Early this week, I had a chance to do just that. Well, minus the cold one. Did you enjoy coming out and have a chance to, you know, hang out with the fans? I know a lot of people obviously still love the 84 Tigers and being a hometown boy still love you coming out. You know, they do love the 84 Tigers, but they like the Tigers in general. You know, and they enjoy themselves. The Whitecaps, affiliate, A-ball, great town, uh, great fans. Um, I hope they're out here all day long and sign autographs and have some fun with everybody. I know that obviously this wasn't here when you went through the systems, Dave, but can you imagine playing in, a, especially at A-ball in a park like this and the way this franchise is supported? Well, I actually played in this league in A-ball, but I was in Clinton, Iowa. In Clinton, Iowa, I think our biggest crowds were 3,000. <laughs> And we probably had about 300 every game. <laughs> it was in the middle of cornfield, so it's a big difference. And it's, you know what? This is beautiful. Well, I think Grand Rapids, um, it's it's an explosive town. It's a beautiful town. I mean, my daughter lives here, husband lives here, he's Aquinas, and you know what? It's really nice. I mean, they have so much to offer to people, and Lake Michigan is 25 miles away. Perfect, perfect spot. I was four in 1968, so I don't remember that, but I was 20 in 84, and I remember thinking how long it had been since the last series then, and now it's been twice as long. Is that hard to fathom now? You know it is, because I got gray hair, <laughs> I'm old, I'm limping. It seemed like yesterday, though, because um, 84 was, what, 34 years ago, and you know what, I still keep in talk with, you know, Trammell, Gibby's my brother-in-law, a few guys in Detroit, Dan Petrie, and it seemed like it was yesterday, and when you reminisce, you go, God, you remember that? Go, yeah, I do. Remember this? I do. And you know, then people come up to you and they bring you back memories. So actually the fans bring back memories in our minds because there's so much to take in for a season. And you guys bring back certain dates and memories and, and it's all good. So all, outstanding. Yeah, so good. many memories you guys provided for all of us. The amazing thing about that run was there wasn't a lot of drama. Almost every team has its ups and downs and 35 and 5 start and then once the playoffs came it was a domination again. That whole season was like that. Well you know one thing I have to uh, I think I have to explain is that we had 15 guys come from the minor leagues like A ball double A up together and when you have that you have the camaraderie with everybody it seems like, you know, we know each other, we can get on each other, and you don't take offense to it. And then you mix in a couple guys like Willie, Darrell, Berge, and next thing you know, you're going, well, we've got a pretty good team in Sparky. And Sparky was our, our big guy and says, you guys bear down every game. we got a chance to win this thing right here. And like I say, we start off 35 and 5, and we go, well, how are we going to screw this up? <laughs> he goes, well, play hard every day, you'll win it. So <laughs> we did and hope that they got we won it. <laughs> you talk about those two classes. Even if I remember right, your 77 rookie class, it was you and Tram and Lou, Steve Kemp, right? I mean, right, uh, right. Lance, Parrish. Lance, uh, Lance is here, and then we had Morris at the end of the year. And then they, they brought in everything, and then Gibby came in. And then we had, let me see, Brookie came in. Uh, Marta Castillo came in. We had Rick Leach. But, you know, a lot of times you got to make trades and make, you make good trades to bring in players you need to to make the the 25 guys uh, united and and uh, well-rounded I should say and to make a good team because a lot of teams are good enough but they don't have the missing puzzle pieces and then once they do get those pieces you win what do you think of some of your former teammates being managers I mean we had Tom here obviously Lance is here now Allen's done it Kirk's done it I think it's great because it's easier for me to see. I go and I feel like I work here. I go, hey, what's up, boys? <laughs> so I'm going to say I had a big will. Uh, I mean, like if Brookie was here, I know a few other guys here, but they make you feel wanted. Um, I tell you what, the staff here does a good job with me, too. Jim, uh, Mickey over there, pfft, he's looking at his phone. But I mean, but Jim, I come in here, and Denny, one of the owners, right. and you come in here, and they go, Rosie, whatever you want. A good friend of mine's got a suite here, and he goes, anytime you're here, you're my suite. So it's, it's very nice. A couple of uh, your teammates going to the Hall of Fame this year. I mean, how proud or how happy are you for them? I'm very happy. Um, we started in 1976 together, and I was there at the beginning of the year with Lance, my roommate, Lance. And then also we get these two guys in, Jack from BYU, Trim San Diego. 
didn't know. We weren't doing very good, and all of a sudden we went like 60 and 20. We won the uh, Southern League Association, another World Series team, guys. But then, <laughs> you know, you get the 84 team, and you're thinking, why, why come none of these guys are going to be inducted? And no, it finally happened. And it took a little while for me. I don't like the the whole system because usually they induct you when you you pass away. Well, what good is it? Your wife, your kids? Big deal. Put the put the guys that deserve it in now so they can have the benefits and meeting people and live, live the dream, right? Yeah, as a guy, can you just explain how dominant Jack was? I mean, best pitcher of the 80s, I think, for sure. What, three teams? He's the ace for a win World Series. I mean, there was, was there anybody really better than that, especially in that decade? Uh, Jack's phenomenal. He's a definitely uh, unbelievable competitor. Actually, his four World Series. Was it? I mean, had the Tigers, Toronto twins. for two, oh, Toronto and, for the, two. and the, and the Twins. But he was... They say the best game ever pitched for a World Series Game 7 was one nothing Jack. So you, when you think about it, in the 80s, you kind of go, man, Jack was the first competitor. He wanted to win every time out there. I guarantee you, if he had more runs, he'd have 20 games a lot of times. And you know, he's, like, he's like a Verlander. Right. I mean, you put him on the mound, you go, game done. That's all there is to it. JV's team's had a pretty good run at a World Series, didn't get there like you guys did. How much does it hurt you guys or whatever your feeling may be when the way the, the, the team's kind of hit a slide again? Well, it's in a rebuilding session right now, you know? So, I mean, when you think about J.D. Martinez, huh? you want to keep him, you ship him away, you get a couple guys, and he's doing all unbelievable. JV, Houston, you know, his dream came true. He's a world champion last year. But we got three prospects. So you can't keep everybody because our payroll would be you know, it'd be so high, you, we couldn't handle everybody. So, you ship a few guys out to California, boom, 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 you do your thing. And, you know, hopefully you can rebuild and find some prospects. I'm looking for some here tonight, here, because <laughs> this is what happened. You get A ball, you get double A, they bring up, they, have, they hopefully don't hurt your arms. Good hitters, you get a position, you filter in. Hopefully in four or five years, hopefully three or four to five years, we can build in our championship there. Right. I know you're living over. You know you're living over in Detroit, but you're obviously a cottage or whatever. You're still over here on the west side, right? You're a west side. Right? Is that my cottage today? I caught three great big <laughs> fish. So I love it there. You know I love the west side. You know I'm there for business. And my wife's from there. So what do you do? I do a lot of things with the Tigers. Every other day. Great organization there. They take care of their um, former players. But when I get a chance over here again, like these guys invite me once a year, you, you, you got to love it. So I'm very humbled, very proud to be a Tiger and part of the organization. Good man. Thanks, Dave.